Welcome to The Secret Place with Stefa Bene, devotions for hungry hearts and searching souls. Hello, welcome to The Secret Place with Stefa. I'm reading from The Restless Heart Again by Ronald Rollheiser. And this little passage has to do with what it means to be present. So um, sit down, relax, and, and have a listen. One of the most frequent complaints one hears today from families, as well as from religious communities, is the complaint, we're not spending enough time together. Few would dispute the validity and importance of this. Yet, one cannot help wondering whether the real issue is not the question of psychological presence, rather than mere time spent together. Would the complaint be as frequent if, when families and religious communities actually were together, the members were really present to each other? Even at those times when we are physically together, sharing a meal, a holiday, or a few hours of quiet uh, or television, our minds and hearts are elsewhere and there's no real presence to each other. Rather, we all dutifully put in time and put up a facade of presence while our hearts and fingers fidget, anxiously awaiting the moment when our duty is done and we can finally get to bed or to the phone or to the car, or to the place where we really want to be. Mm. Or to the iPad, or to the iPhone, right? Um, That is a mouthful. I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that you feel that too. Uh, What happens to our relationships when we have full intention of keeping them strong? Our church relationships, our families, our spouse, you know, our, our work, our colleagues. And then we turn around one day and say, ah, I have no one. No one is here for me. Or I don't even have anyone I can think of that I can call up and say, hey, let's do lunch or grab coffee. Uh, it's been too long. Oh, what a, what a sad thing that is. It really is. And um, it, there's multiple reasons why that happens, obviously. Some of us are more social than others. Some are introverts, some are extroverts. So many things I could talk about now. But what I want to talk about is where Rollheiser goes in that, in that book, The Restless Heart. It's this idea of not being fully present or not really being present. Being present physically, but not psychologically. Not with our heart. Not with our mind. Not with our nonverbals. And our eyes, our expression can really help us become more fully present to those we care about, those that we're with. Um, Because, you know, if we look at them in the eyes, uh, this sounds like such a silly thing, doesn't it? Like, come on, are you kidding, Stephanie? Of course we look at each other in the eyes. Really? Listen, I, yeah, my whole life is about relationship. My PhD is in communication about relationship building and communication. I can sit there sometimes with my husband plenty of time. I'm on my iPad, he's on his, and we kind of are just sitting in each other's presence, in each other's presence, but we're not really present to each other. And I mean, every place you go, whether it's restaurants or the road, even people have their face down in their little screen. Um, And I I wonder if, um, if you've ever thought about what it is that uh, creates this kind of malaise in your own heart, like uh, uncertainty, insecurity about your relationships, if you realize that part of it is uh, not bringing your full self uh, to the conversations or not having someone bring herself or his self to to you in a conversation or in an interaction. Um, we, we very much kind of put each other off. Well, what, what is the solution for this? Like, well, I'm not saying I'm always a bevy of solutions, but I, there are some helps that we can uh, that 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 we can do things that will help alleviate this problem or at least stem it take you know uh, keep it at bay and besides the nonverbals one of them is um, one of them is just kind of diving in daily to life living life fully not kind of walking through life like waiting for it to happen to us but really you know diving in do you know, do you know what I mean by that like a you have a, a meeting with a friend or a colleague or um, a, a, something planned with someone and, and, and bring your full self to that meeting. Uh, it, 
every encounter is certainly not going to be one that um, is like life changing, but it's it's incremental. The the sense of healthy, rich relationships, uh, it's incremental, and that that depends on and is tied closely to presence, to really being there, embodiment, not just texting, you know, and not just talking on the phone. I love it that we have FaceTime now and we can have like a video call, like, like remember George Jetson? Does anyone remember? Meet George Jetson, remember? Ba, 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 right? And, and they had the video phones. Well, now we have now we have them and they're great but they're also not a substitute for um really full presence being with another person i don't like the restless heart that's why i really like this book that i shared with you i i don't like it when it appears in me and manifests itself in me and i don't like it when i see it in the people i love you know, like kind of a, a, a malaise or a lack of happiness or a, a kind of laissez-faire attitude toward life. And I don't even like it when I see it on the street or I see it at the checkout counter or I see it, the people in Publix or ShopRite, strangers. I, I don't like it. It really gives me the creeps. It's like I know so truly and deeply that God created us for fellowship, and he created us to enter into the fullness of what he has for us. I mean, if you think about the Trinity, those of you who are listening who are Christian know that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is the Trinity. And that that relationship in the Godhead, the three in one, has been going on before the foundation of the earth. It's eternal, right? God created us. He created a people to call us into that fellowship. It's like the fellowship he was having among himself, the three in one, he wanted to share that. And and in that sharing and in that fellowship, there's so much goodness. There's so much goodness. And when we live without it, it's it's like a crime. It's a sin. It's, It's a shame for sure. So I guess today I just want to say, you know, um, you may be sitting there listening, thinking, you know how to do that. And you know that that, that is true. Uh, but maybe you just need to be more assertive. Uh, good, good. But maybe you're listening and you never heard that before. You said, you might say, Stephanie, you don't know me. I'm shy or I'm quiet or I don't, know, I don't have the social tools. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Well... It's, it's not really about whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. I, I am aware that it is easier for an extrovert to go out and, and meet people and dive into life. But today I'm talking about being fully present, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. Whether, that, whether social situations are easy for you or challenging for you. Whatever situations you're in with people, be there. Yeah, be there fully, really fully. Engage. Engage with the people around you. Be attentive. Listen to what is not being said. Listen to what's being said and also what's not being said. And bring your full self to it. You know you want that from others too. And we can't make it happen from others. We can't make others behave and do what we want or what we think we need. But we can give it. We can give it. I want to encourage you today to step out and give it. It makes life worthwhile. It will, it will etch away at that restlessness that you feel sometimes. I promise you, it's true. It will. And in the meantime, my time is over right now today. But I hope that you've enjoyed The Secret Place with Stefa. I know I've enjoyed having you. And I look forward to you coming again. Please leave your comments. Share some feedback. I thrive on it. I love it. Maybe everybody doesn't like feedback. I like feedback. Okay? Until then, have a great, great day. Bless you. Breathe. Listen and receive. Take a moment to soak it all in. 
Until next time.